Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another Finding Frontier deep dive. Of course, um, we couldn't wait too long from you. We need to be sharing our insights. We need to be sharing and imparting wisdom from our current traders that are using our platform, making their dreams come to reality. And today, we've got a fantastic, fantastic guest. We went from the USA to Lebanon, and today we find ourselves in Dubai, but with a special caveat. This isn't a person from Dubai originally. He's from Italy, Italia. We're going to learn some Italian on the way too. So, I mean, this is a double, you know, edge sword where we've got Italian and trading. And maybe we'll learn how to make a good bowl of, uh, bowl of pasta. Who knows? But today's guest is Francesco Savano. Francesco, sorry. Um, like I said, he's a 29-year-old gentleman. He has worked with a 100K account from Fronting Frontier. And he has made a return of $8,738. And that's about 8 point, what is it? 8.74% gain. So, if you're going to be listening... To someone who knows what he's talking about, it's Francesco. So for all the aspirational traders, the side hustlers, the dream chasers, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to introduce to you Francesco. Hi, Claudio. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, sir. I don't know. How did you feel about that introduction? Did, did I do it justice or is there something I left out? Yes, yes. It's good. It's good. That's good. Something else to note, ladies and gentlemen, Francesco has moved to dubai and he taught himself english within one year and so whatever we're getting today that's that's from him learning english within a year am i right there francesco yeah you're right i started le learning english uh, just uh, one year ago so uh, it just, this is my first interview so it's uh, a little bit uh, with panic so we, we can call we can call panic <laughs> well please don't be panicked i think you've already kicked off really well if, um, if you're not feeling inspired now, a man who's doing well in trading and he's taught himself English, please, this is the one you need to listen to. So, ladies and gentlemen, we are diving in. We've got Francesco. Mr. Francesco, it's trading. It's tell us your life. Where did you begin? How did you start? Why trading? Oh, I'm starting to learn trading uh, like uh, eight years ago. Uh, I start to follow some Italian guy that uh, see macroeconomics and uh, a lot of uh, things like that. And... Uh, I start to follow and I, and I see that uh, I like, I like to understand the, why the markets move in some direction, why the, the news impact the market and all, all the life. And uh, so I, I start to learn and uh, I'm focused on trading in the, in the last two years. And uh, after, after loses, loses, loses again, I'm start to, to burn my, my strategy. Um, I'm start to to fix everything, and uh, after that, uh, after losing money, you know, I understand the, the money management, uh, the the risk, uh, and the, the value of the money, and uh, I'm start to to start my my strategy. I, I start my strategy, and uh, and I see um, that it's work, and uh, mm -hmm. I already uh, I already back tested, of course, and uh, the strategy works. I see the purchases. I, I use the a lot of things that help me to understand uh, uh, what can I do, how many money I need. Uh, um, after that, I, I found uh, I found a prop firm, and uh, I found the prop firm uh, uh, in the UAE. I, I like to see a prop firm in the UAE, and I and I see from the pro there, you know. So I, I start to I I bought the the challenge and start to to do that, and uh, after that I I. Pass the phase, the the challenge, and they reach the the gain. I reach the gain, so I request the buyout. So you literally just followed the process there. You you thought trading was a good idea. You got involved. You found a prop firm. You passed the challenges, and now you're here, and you've you've made a good little profit there. But my my question, what I what I really want to find out is, what drew you to trading? What was the thing that said, yes, I want to start trading, as opposed to doing anything else with your life it's a, it's a click on my in my mind because uh, when i start to see the trading uh, i i see how the markets move uh, why the markets move and i want to understand more more and more and uh, and now I'm, this is the result you know uh, i like i like i do i i do trading because i like not to, not for the money or for yes of course for the money you know you have to have income in your life Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, I I do this because I like. I wake up in the morning at six a.m. in UAE team, UAE time. 
only because uh, I want to understand what the market do uh, in the ASEAN session. I want uh, what the market what the market will do in the next session. So, I mean, you, you say you like it. Did you like maths at school? Did you like what? What did you like at school that made you, like that has connected to this? Because you didn't wake up and say you wanted to become a trader, unless of course you did do yes. that. Yes, of course. A lot of people like the school. Uh, a lot of people like uh, your job. I don't know. I think this is my job. Uh, it's not my passion. But uh, if you take your job like a passion, uh, you you can enjoy your entire life. That's very true. So you're doing this full time now. So how many hours a day are you doing this? Oh, that if you if you say me if you told me how many hours you left the 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 chart, uh, it's better because. Uh, I am the chart every day because I like to see just just yeah. this. So so when you're not trading, what are you doing? Not trading. Um, sometimes I like to go to the gym, to the pool, and uh, you know you you are in Dubai. Uh, you, you can enjoy a lot of things, but uh, I don't like too much uh, go outside. I have one friend in Dubai, and sometimes in the weekend we go outside and we we enjoy the life. But uh, in in the week, in all in the week. Only in the weekend, sorry. In okay. the week, uh, I like too much uh, stay at home and enjoy my life. My girlfriend. But, but you, oh, your girlfriend. So just out of out of that question with regards to your girlfriend, does she trade as well? Does she just support you trading? Yes, my girlfriend support a lot of my all my all my all my things like the dropshipping, like the trading, all my passions. And uh, she study medicine uh, in Italy, and uh, we plan uh, we plan to transfer in Dubai when if when she finish, and uh, live uh, our life here. Awesome. So but I suppose she's... the next question is why why Dubai? You've made it very clear off the call, but why specifically Dubai? I, I move in Dubai where uh, when uh, the corporate tax doesn't exist. So the reason the main reason was the the tax but uh, now if i pay nine percent tax uh, is is not if it's nothing compared to italy you know awesome so, so, I mean, you, you, know, you can yeah. enjoy dubai more better than the italy or other countries so you found something you liked you decided to start learning it which is it self-taught or did you learn did you take courses what did you do to yeah. to, to get to this point i, I take a lot of courses and uh, I learned from eight years, almost eight years. And uh, I'm focused on trading uh, for the past two, uh, two years. And uh, when I see that I was profitable and uh, I start to, to keep money in my bank account to, to open my company in Dubai, you know, and uh, after that I open my company and I transfer myself in Dubai. Amazing. So within that eight year period, at what point so after six years, where was the turning point for you to say, I want to do this full time? Uh, be, because I like, because I like, uh, you know, I try, I try the drop shipping. I try, I try the, the real estate, uh, but it's not, it's nothing that uh, can keep uh, and continue to, 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 to grow, to like, uh, Oh, I don't know how to say. Uh, the the most important thing I I think that uh, if you if you like that you do uh, mm -hmm. make money. Yeah. If you think uh, you 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 find the the solution for your life. You know I I don't think that uh, every people like to go to job or wake up in the six uh, six in the morning and go to job. You you do you do with uh, with a uh, favor no yeah i think one thing we're learning here if we're picking up a theme all the guys we're interviewing i mean we've had you we've had isaac we've had cyril from lebanon everyone's saying there's a current theme here you guys make it sound so easy chase the thing that you love and life will start giving you answers to to the solution or to the to the problem rather so i mean thank you so much for making that sound very easy and uh one last thing from my side i mean we got your girlfriend she studied medicine but what's the, the thing you're chasing in your life now that you're doing this? You obviously like trading, but what's the, the end goal for your trading? 
oh, my my goal is uh, it's very simple. It's uh, it's like to man manage a larger account. You know, I think uh, if you can increase your uh, personal account or uh, or manage a larger account, you can risk risk less and uh, mm -hmm. and do more profits from your trade. So you, I think that uh, the, the goal is uh, manage larger account and increase personal account. Fantastic. So to stay in the trading game and uh, just keep growing and make it a comfortable lifestyle. That's awesome. That brings us to our next next category within this conversation. And that's obviously your trading st strategy specifically. Uh, you spoke of your daily routine. You wake up early, right? 6 a.m. you said. Yes. Um, one thing that you've said and that you've mentioned is that you you like doing a sort of what is it you you analyze the charts and then you look at what the market will do and you look for validation within the news and then after that you say you like trading in a time when you often go to sleep which market in particular do you like trading oh i am i am trade only only gold only gold only gold yes i don't like to trade the forex or the pairs uh, i'm like to to see only the gold like commodities and the reason is because it's a, a biggest space with a lot of volume and uh, can give you every day possibility and uh, to, to possibility entry or uh, or, uh, or um, you know um, what is the question sorry uh, no, 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 the, no 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 don't worry about that. I think you were answering that very well. You said you like trading gold, so that's fantastic because you know that's your third person to be saying that. So gold's the staple, and that's where we're looking. Um, are you a technical trader, or do you just focus on fundamentals? I'm and technical. Technical. I'm, okay, I, see, I see. I follow. I just follow the um, Raja Banks, you know, okay. and. Uh, I'm start to to follow his videos uh, on YouTube, uh, and I see that uh, this guy is very smart. It's very it's very simple. Uh, and um, when I was when I see my past, uh, I see my Francesco. I see myself in like uh, too much mechanic, and uh, yeah. I see that in the market you have to be fluid. You you have to be patient, you know, and. Uh, I understand through Raja that you have, you have to just wait and pay attention to what the market do. Okay, so paying very close attention. Out of you've mentioned Raja Banks, how did you hear about Raja Banks? And when you started found, listening to him, what? Okay, yeah. So how did you listen to him? Or how did I you hear him, about? Him? I found him casually on Instagram, and uh, I start to follow. I start to to see his videos. And uh, I like how, how his move on the market because it's very simple, you know. He, he uses your own strategy. Uh, mm -hmm. and so I, I, the, the most important thing that I, I, I learned to, from Raja is to be patient and uh, wait the, the, the best trade for the best trade. Yeah. You, again, you make that sound so easy. Being patient when you've put your money somewhere and you want to see it do something, how do you how do you stay patient? How do you calm yourself down and say, "Hey, I'm going to be patient here"? Yes, because in the past I see myself uh, like uh, like trade ten tra ten trade uh, per days, and I see that's crazy. You know, this guy open one trade a day, maybe, and uh, he make a lot of profits. Oh, it's possible. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. So it's again, so you're being patient is seeing someone successful and saying, okay, if he's doing that and it's working for him, I'm going to start doing that. So with regards to that, what is the one big lesson you've learned from Raja Banks? Is it being patient? The patience. Yeah. The patience. Mm -hmm. Just wait, uh, uh, follow your rules, follow your strategies and uh, be patient because uh, the market uh, eat you. <laughs> So good, good question or good point saying the market eats you when the market does eat you and you've put your money down and you are being patient with one or two trades. How do you deal when you've lost that money or when the market has eaten you? How do you deal with it personally? I, 
I don't like to 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 force the trade and uh, I like to to risk very less like 0.3 percent and uh, if the market move in my direction is good if the market move in in other direction and I will I will cut my stop loss I will cut my position and uh, I will see another entry I put my stop loss very 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 long mm -hmm. uh, if I eat my stop loss it's okay everything is okay uh, I can I can lose this I can lose max, maximum two or three days per day I don't like to oh, lose yeah? more, more trade and uh, I like to risk uh, very less because in the past I I I I use the market and, and the financial market uh, like the casino or the betting center so it's not like a good idea <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you, you've mentioned that you do not use trading like a casino. I mean, what do you want to tell people that you've mentioned patience, you've mentioned the idea of treating it like a casino. You obviously you've spent eight years trading, so this isn't something you've just done overnight. So when you're looking for your patterns and your familiarities and all these other things that you've got to be looking for when you're making your decisions, what is the one thing you want to tell people in terms of saying you think it's easy to just trade and make a lot of money? Uh learn learn first of all learn how the markets move uh, have a good strategy back test the strategy and uh, before put the money in the market uh, or before book everything in the life uh, back test 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 them and uh, after that uh, if everything's worked well uh, you can go inside the market okay and all those all those rules that you follow like a bible are those your rules or are there any tricks or other rules that you have when you trade i have personally a lot of strategies that mm -hmm. i don't use too much uh, i'm following i'm i'm following it too much in the last time the the smart raja concept and okay. uh, so uh, i put my rules uh, if if everything works well i'm going inside the trade and uh, I put my stop loss, I put my TP and uh, I follow my rules. I don't, I'm not able too much yet to, I'm not manage my profits very well. Uh, I manage very well in the night in the Asian session when I go to sleep. <laughs> so mm -hmm. can, my best trade was in the night. Okay. Uh, but, uh, but if, if you follow your rules, uh, uh, in the end of the year, uh, the, you, you are profit. You are in profit. But that's interesting. You mentioned your best trade was in the Asian market at night. And so has that now become part of your rules or is that something that was a, a chance, a once-off? No, it's uh, one of my rules. If the market in the New York session move in the, in the cert certain thing uh, and, mm -hmm. and I open my trade, I open my trade, which are uh, very less uh, risk uh, and I leave the, I put my stop loss, I put my TP and, uh, and I wait, I'm going to sleep because it's the only, on, only way to, to make a larger uh, profit. Because I will, I will told you, I am in the market, in the chart uh, every day, uh, a lot of time. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, so you're sticking to that rule again within the Asian market, the New York time, with regards to everything that you're doing. Um, your biggest obstacle, most challenging obstacle in your trading journey, what has that been to date? My biggest uh, obstacle? Uh, I don't know. I think that there is no obstacle because if you follow the rule, your rules, the, the rules of the prop firm and the... Uh, everything i think works well but uh, there is one there is one uh, one one rules that uh, help me a lot that funding mm -hmm. frontier uh, make there is uh, the rule that uh, says uh, you can uh, you can't open a position like 2.5 percent per trade and this rule helped me too much uh, with my trade because uh, if, if i risk more if i risk less i can follow the rule and i can less more money Mm -hmm. and uh, I can make profit uh, of course uh, I can make profit too awesome so with that little adjustment that Funding Frontier offers you that 2.3% it kind of 
takes off the pressure when you're trading and you can learn more from it depending on which way it goes, correct? Yes, yeah, correct, correct. Yes. Awesome. So that's a bit of a game changer. So let's let's go into that topic with regards to Funding Frontier then. How did you hear about Funding Frontier? Uh, from Raja. From Raja. I when I start to follow Raja, Raja spoke about the the prop film, the prop film about the Funding Frontier and uh, I I just see the 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 fund the, the prop film. I I like to see the all the all all the things about the prop film like the, the he born he born in the UAE so it's good mm -hmm. I think and uh, it's he move on C trader also and um, this helped me a lot because when I when I was using the MT4 or MT5 the trading was very difficult you know when I move on C trader I thank you for funding frontier also and uh, I'm start to use C trader and I see that there is another uh, it's a game changer, see trader. You can do a lot of things inside. Give give us an example of the things that you can do using C Trader. Oh, you you can use C Trader like the like the trading view. You know, it's more simple, more easy. Uh, you know, you it's it's a uh, it's a new generation, I think. Oh, awesome! So then, th there you go. There's two two good things. We've got someone like Raja Banks who recommends Funding Frontier. Then again, you've got C Trader, which is another good recommendation. Apart from that, when we're looking at the strategies, so you know, to to become funded, to become a funded Frontier a trader, you've got your two step challenges, right? So you got the first challenge, and then you've got to pass the challenge. In your head, regards to the process. How difficult is it, and is it worth doing for someone who's never done it before? It's not very difficult if you follow the rules. You have to follow the rules. Uh, you you don't have to take uh, what to say is before. You don't have to take the challenge uh, like the betting center or the casino. You know. So if you follow the rules and you follow your own rules, you can pass the challenge. So if you lose the challenge because uh, if because uh, you broke the rules. Uh, it's not good. You have to follow the rules. You have to follow the rules. And of course, not having a time limit allows you to follow those rules because it takes that pressure off. And you've already mentioned sort of the low profit margin area in comparison to others that are asking for 8 to 10%. I mean, Funding Frontiers at a 7.5% asking. And then you've mentioned even a 2.3%. So it makes your life a lot easier and takes off that pressure. So you can get through it, even if you are learning in your first time trader. Am I right? You are right because there is no pressure inside the the profit because you have to reach the seven point five percent that is less than uh, other profit. You know, uh, you you don't have limit to to reach this uh, amount. Uh, you you have only to 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 set up your strategy and follow the rules, and uh, cool. there is no pressure inside. You know, and sorry on that note, I said two point three percent. I meant two point five percent is what I meant. Yeah. So, yeah, 2.5%. So, um, Francesco, when we're wrapping up sort of your trading strategy and you discuss uh, smart Raja concepts, for those that don't know it or have never heard about it, what is the basic explanation for the smart concept by Raja? There is no specific, I think, uh, explanation, but uh, I like to match how we... He, he see the market, he, he see the price action, uh, he, he see, you know, in the market, uh, every single candle uh, says anything. And uh, you have to understand what the, what this candle says. And mm -hmm. uh, through Raja, you can understand uh, uh, the price action on the market. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, Francesco is saying, listen to the rules, pay close attention to this. If you want to be doing this day to day like he does, you know, learn, teach yourself and just follow the rules. We're going to move on to the next section, and that's the rapid fire, Francesco. And the rapid fire, for those who haven't heard and were listening for the first time, I'm going to be asking you questions, and you're going to be answering back with quick answers as to what you think they should be. Okay. So the first question is, do you trade funded capital or personal capital? Funding capital. And why? Because uh, the is a larger amount, you know, you can manage uh, better your risk your trade uh, you can uh, risk less and uh, you are pure, you are more comfortable with yourself you know 
Yeah, you go. You and also, like you, like you said, the potential. The potential. You can make more money with a bigger money as opposed to your, your personal money. Next one. Day trading, day trading or long-term invest, investing? Day trading. Biggest trading win? In terms of money? Yes. Or, you know what? If you want to be metaphorical about it, maybe you won your lady because you had a big big trade. You know, that's also a good thing to win. Uh, around $6,000. Six thousand dollars. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Most memorable trading loss. Oh, when I bought my personal account my first time. Did you do that before? Did you do that before um, signing up with FF? That's so that one hurt. Yes. I, when I when I when I bought my my account, this, it was very 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 impressive. You know, I I take uh, the first time the the. The market like the casino how you already says and uh, i i don't lose my stop loss uh, i was to cut my stop loss but the market uh, eat me that does not sound good and you, look you picked yourself up and you here. next one pre-market or after hours trading pre-market pre-market which stock would you hold for 10 years which stock i don't like to hold stock yeah, you but, said you yeah, said gold. gold. Eh? Just stick with gold. So, <clears throat> best financial advice you've ever received? Oh, be patient. Be patient and uh, wait your opportunity. Awesome. Worst financial advice you've heard? Worst? Yes, the, the opposite. Advice? Yeah. I don't know. So in terms of, you know, you just said, be patient for good advice. What's the, the bad advice? What's advice that you heard? You were like, oof, that's, I'm not going to do that. Uh, I think you have to, to wait for the best opportunity. Okay. So one book every trader should read. Oh, I see. I see a... a in Italian, we say i mercati finanziari, the, the, the financial market, third edition, third edition, yeah. Fantastic. So if you want to learn Italian and trading at the same time, that's the one to be following. The future of trading, is it more human or is it more algorithmic? I think, uh, I think that's, I think that's is uh, algorithmic. Really? So is, are you using a lot of that while you're trading right now? A lot of. A lot of, uh, say, using algorithms for your trading. I think, I think I, I have an algorithmic strategy, but uh, I don't use. But I see that's work very well. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm testing this strategy, but uh, th this worked very well. I think that's that the, the human can, can make mistake uh, every time. That's amazing. You know, you're the first trader to be saying it's going to go more this direction as opposed to more human, which is quite interesting. So you, you're currently working on some strategies that are paying off for you. Oh, say, say again, please. I said, so currently as things stand, you've got some strategies that you are working on that have been successful using an algorithm, things that uh, you're I'm, working on. I'm back testing this strategy, so you, I don't know the the... the the margin of the, the strategy yet. Okay, but you're working on it. So pay attention people. We might have uh, Francesco on here to explain that strategy at a later stage. Now, lastly, the takeaway. This is where you impart your wisdom. You've already shared so much uh, valuable insight for our listeners and for our community at Funding Frontier. But what are your future plans with Funding Frontier? And where do you see yourself within the next two years? I'd like to... I like to I like to manage a larger account, of course. I like mm -hmm. to 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 work with Funding Frontier uh, with in the in the last the next uh, two years. And uh, I see I, I see myself in the next two years uh, in Dubai, of course, with the best performance, more more gain, I think, and uh, nothing. That's all. Okay. Right. So just, just so you guys know, obviously Francesco's done really well for, for himself and he's doing well with Funding Frontier. 
But to date, he's, he's trading statistics. He's made 44 trades and he's already done this well. So that's something cool, great to look upon. Um, the other thing I want to ask you is what's the final piece of advice you have for people listening to this today? The best advice, I think, mm -hmm. that the people uh, before put money in the market or, or risk their own money, uh, they have to learn... Uh, you have they have to learn a, a lot of about trading because uh, it's not easy it's the hard uh, hard work in online you can, that you can find and uh, yeah of course there is a lot of money inside you can earn a lot of money but uh, i think that you, if you have from 20 through to 25 years old uh, you have to learn a lot of uh, about trading i see also microeconomics uh, and uh, see about the news uh, about the how the markets move uh, every single thing yeah so again let's just sum this up ladies and gentlemen we've got francesco the man loves what he does he pays close attention he's taught himself a lot of these things so if you want to be successful like him you got to teach yourself you got to be interested in the subject matter and this isn't a casino you're not gambling you're learning and you're understanding patterns and there are patterns of validation and mr francesco is doing exactly that and we're super to have you part of the team here francesco doing your thing i mean like i said total of 44 trades a 75% win rate. This is a man who knows what he's talking about. Lastly, Francesco, where can people find you? The people can find me in the, in the social media, the Instagram. Or uh, what's your I, handle? I don't, I don't use too much the social media. You know, I I, I have the social media just to to follow a lot as a very less people. Mm -hmm. uh, that helped me to understand uh, something in the life like the mindset uh, like the, the more more, uh, more strategies more uh, more i don't like to follow uh, uh, people that uh, cook your uh, breakfast or, or something that <laughs> again he's left us with another piece of valuable information he doesn't get distracted by social media but he uses uses it as a tool to gain more information for his daily trading fantastic francesco so for everyone who has have not joined uh, Funding Frontier. Um, we have our social media handles on the top right hand side of the, the image there. You can join us on Discord, Instagram, Facebook, X, uh, YouTube, of course, you're seeing us now. Drop your comments below if there's anything specific you want to ask. Um, our people will get back to you. And of course, if you're joining us for the first time, we want to say thank you. If you're joining us for a second time, we want to say we appreciate you. But if you're back for a 10th time, you know, there's a term for that. That's called stalking. But we kind of appreciate that too. So see you for episode four. We want to say thank you very much. Francesco, thank you for joining us. Thank you for sharing your knowledge. We appreciate you. Have a fantastic day. Thank you. Thank you, Claudio. Bye-bye. Cheers.